So this is preparation for lesson two of Bootstrap Algebra. I feel like the video for lesson one went pretty well. I've, it's really hard to get away from uh, language like the next time we meet and that kind of stuff when talking about uh, assignments. So I'm going to try to get better about that. Uh, let's see. We are preparing for... Yeah, the the first lesson did have in the um, questions just some discussion, or then the one of the examples discussion of the of x coordinate as one of the things that was changing, but no, uh, really, you know, we didn't go over coordinate system. And then this is, you know, this curriculum is for people who have had algebra, at least pre-algebra, so they should be familiar with the coordinate system. But um, I wanted to keep pointing toward the the fact that we're spending more time on the coordinate system for this one. Let's get the slide set. Let that load, then I'm going to close those from this window. Just to, to stay in the habit of the way I've got the window set for the class, where I'm going to have slides in one. Uh, I'm going to rename that. Slides in one window, lesson in another, and we scheme in another. So we're talking, and I have been through these before. In fact, I made some edits in my previous version, and then I realized I wanted to to capture those in video. So I'm going to do them again. But I do remember one thing from this one. So let's just take a quick walk through these. So the dog left and right. What's quarter of the dog? What's the number of the screen? All right. One number isn't enough. Yeah, this is like an extraneous um, slide, so it looks just like a mistake. I'm just going to delete that. I do remember that from before. All right, estimating coordinates. Let's see if that really is page four. Oops, what? This? Estimating coordinates. Yes. All right. And we are, as it says, estimating coordinates. Good. Which character estimating is x1 axis r? And this is a short one, so I probably will have the students pause, do that. Um, then I'll go back and answer those specific questions or give my estimates. Uh, yes, this is super cool. Let's see if page five, notice and wonder. Yes, Ninja Cat Desmos graph. So we'll go back to here and find 
the Ninja Cat Decimals graph. And this is super cool where you can change Ninja Cat, see what his coordinates are. It's correct on the system. Hopefully, I don't have to tell you if you are. Uh, you know, teaching through this, but maybe um, if you don't know much about video games, uh, uh, very helpfully they have made this as a Cartesian coordinate um, so that 0, 0 is in the lower left um, along the x axis. Oops, along the x axis, uh, numbers get bigger, along the y axis, number gets, numbers get bigger. In real video game development, in, 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 in every video game development environment, actually. Zero, 0 is uh, up here. It's the top left of the screen. Positive numbers go to the right, and positive numbers go down. So it's not Cartesian at all. It's not even like quadrant 2, which would have negative numbers go down. So since this that's one aspect of this um, Wii scheme as a teaching environment is they've done it so that it makes sense with algebra concepts. Um, and I, I'll go into that at some point um, in, in these lessons very far down the road. Um, that the Cartesian coordinate is an arbitrary system and that in real video game development um, there's actually a diff slightly different coordinate system that's used. But we won't talk about that today. So that was page five. Page six. Uh, let's see. I believe that's going to be brainstorm your own game. It just doesn't say page six. Background player, danger target. Background player, danger target. Good. I believe I do have some extra stuff that I want to put in here. So we don't want to actually do this yet. Just introduce that page. Um, and then the Google Draw template. Oops. Which is a drawing template. And then they talk about searching. Um, on DuckDuckGo, but I think at this point I actually do want to talk about, so it won't be in this one, it'll be in this one, um, is talk about um, searching for boot strap world ninja cat images. And so there's some Ninja Cat stuff, but then we also have um, what did I search for and find? to find this just boost up world gif and so just to show the here's an example somebody did using the same um, starting point where let's see if we can figure out so here's the ninja who is going up and down and it looks like you get uh, 10 points when you hit the unicorn and let's see what happens when you hit the dragon looks like they are avoiding the dragon yep uh, so the dragon takes away points uh, doesn't kill you so um, but this is the same same template it's just um, different rules that have been coded in there so I'll talk about that um, and then also Notice we have here some clip art background from Bootstrap World that opens into a um, so if you you know the to use that that template um, we can 
You can use all kinds of other backgrounds. So here is just an airport hallway that could be used as a background. And we can go up a level. Didn't mean to do that. We can go up a level. Let's just erase that. So here's a clip art that comes from Bootstrap World. And um, in addition to um, backgrounds, there are some monsters. So let's see, there's a robot. There's a robot. He could be used as a, or he could be used as a um, enemy or a player. So that's, that's one place to look. Um, but there's other places to look for things that will fit into the template that you get when you open this Google Draw, which I already have a bunch of blank ones in my account. So this will this will make a, a document at the um, the base of the the student's um, account, um, so you can re rename that and move it around. But um, here is just an example where there's a player. There's a danger, there's a target, there's that, um, but that's actually not the one. So if there's more than one template. Yeah, there's a blank template, so that's two different things in uh well no maybe not okay no it's not a blank um so you know the student can just move out if you figure out how to click on the correct thing nope i'm trying to hit delete what i'd like to do is move this background and delete it i don't know enough about google draw to know how to click on the various items which I would like to do to be able to demonstrate. I'm trying to double click on the hippo. What if I just want the hippo? Ooh, let's ungroup everything. Okay, well, if we ungroup and we're gonna send everything back. So how do we send? Can we send? No. And we can move stuff out of the way. There's the hippo. I'm going to undo that. What I'd like to do is order. There we go. Order. Let's send it to back. Then I should be able to have the hippo. So there. I can replace that guy with another image. Delete him. So this is fine. Some, some, I think the link inside the... Um, Inside here is a more generic template, which just it just doesn't have these things filled in. So then, so now we can't see. I'm gonna send this to the back. There, and then now I have these coordinate guys again. So they can um, use that template to. Mess around with their game, and they we have the you know this sheet is what we're working through. Brainstorm your own game, All right? So we're trying to think of, and that'll be an offline activity. Right. So this is going to be a you do because I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause and um, have them adjust the sliders. But then page six is going to be a to do. Oops. 
as I said, I've taught this before. And um, I do have a playlist of all the old videos. If you want to see that? Oh, I taught through this before. At that time, I probably took uh, two hours to make each 20-minute video. Um, so no, this isn't new to me. Um, my goal for these is to do about 20 minutes for about a 20 minute, you know, prep for about a 20 minute video. And I've already been through this curriculum. I've spent two to three hours um, going through this, this one time, just trying to make as many passes as I can through um, this version of the curriculum. And to, to notice also that it's very similar to what it looked like before. It's just organized differently. Good, and and so um, you know we'll, we'll spend a lot of time talking about the coordinate system, really emphasizing um, that because that is really the, the main part. Once we start coding in, in Scheme, um, in the previous version that was broken up by units, which which generally took um, I, I broke into three videos, um, so it, it would be a week on. Um, on and a week off of game versus coding um, once we get into the the fourth or you know, the third or fourth week um, we, we we need to build up a vocabulary and a language of, of coding things in we scheme and that takes a while and, and you don't get to go back to your game um, for a, a couple of lessons but uh, at a time but um, we still try to make that as fun as possible and it is fun so I think that's going to be it for this yep all right that's good